Yeah. For real. 1983. Base. Space. Ball. Logo space. Stickers. Space. Trading. Space cards. <laughs> Space two cards. photos on each card. Oh my god, is this like the... No way, two photos on each card, like upper deck. Like upper deckers, yes. You go, and then on the back, and then there's another photo. This or is, is it going to be like the 83 tops where there was a, a photo, a little portrait photo, and then... Oh, okay. Remember? I don't think so. I, I'm, I'm, and then the let's, let's bet. You say that, I think it's going to be like the one where there's I don't like, think there's anything on the back because it's huh, printing issues. Well, that's going to be even smaller. Okay, anyway, I just want to note, this is like one of my favorite fonts I've ever seen. It's a great baseball. font. And I'm saying it's like a second runner up to Calibri because that we got, you know, we got to operate in the real world, folks. There were great fonts in the '80s. Let's go over a little over here. It was where a you decade see a background of lovely balls and bases. It was a it was a decade of excess. It was a decade of greed. It was a decade of fonts. <sighs> greed is good. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Okay. I feel like you're, you're the paparazzi following me around. Oh, hello. Hello, extremely, st uh, still used. Super racist. Shocking to Shockingly the system every racist. time. Shockingly I look racist. It, and when it's just this, like, because you know, you see And we're him, Redskins fans. You see them all around. Yeah, but at least it's like a real face shape of a person. This is right. ridiculous. There, this is as offensive as the term Redskins is. This is as offensive of a of a uh, logo. Mm-hmm. But the Redskins logo is really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm used to just seeing a lot of them in tininess. And then this is like, hello, this was so wrong. It's called the Wahoo, right? Oh, yeah, I remember these cards. Wow, fine. I got my brother a whole uh, shirt with this card uh, and Cal Ripken. Where do you think the second photo is going to be? Jimmy Sexy? Oh, you're right. It has to be on the back. He looks like... He's not posing, but it turned out you to win be that one. a good pose. Good job. So that means I keep keep everything I just ruined. Yes, yeah, a little black and white one. I remember these. Okay, so it's not like the most exciting photo, but I'll do a flip switch. A <laughs> flip switch? I'll do a quick switch. Oh, okay. Quick change is what I should say. Quick change. Gary Allenson. Up your butt with a coconut. And I, I, ble I believe he was prepared to do it. He got confused when... Switch hitter, he thought you used different bats. He thought you just go up there with two bats. Mm -hmm. Two bats. Rafael Bats Ramirez, shortstop. He's like, am Joey I on the bats. right team? Because I don't really like living in Atlanta. But Atlanta's a great place. Oh, shoot. Oh, hello, I Steve. I was going to curse because I was happy. Really? Is that what you do when you're happy? <laughs> I do. I curse, the only one? I curse with the joy. Only. With joy. Look at how many strikeouts this guy had at okay. this point in his career. And let's look at the picture as well. Okay. Strikeout total. Wait a minute. I'm too far away. Me too. <laughs> Strikeout total. I keep turning it the wrong way. It's making me shake laughing. Okay. What am I doing? Strikeout. 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 Where are you? Oh, it's at the end. Okay, at the end. It's not under K. Okay. Where do you want it for this year? 3,434. He would get about 1,000 more strikeouts after this. It's 3434. Right. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Randy Johnson. He's 3434. He he was at the end of his career. Let me see his picture close up because this is a big important guy. That's really not a really great picture. Butch. Said Joe. <laughs> Comes up every time, folks. Vinegar. His, his nickname was Vinegar. Vinegar Hill. Sugar Hill. Oh, Rigetti, better known as the San Francisco Giants World Series winning pitching coach, but at this time, He's 1983, like Andrew McCarthy look alike. He looks a lot like Andrew McCarthy. He was a starting pitcher. He became a closer, and he pitched a no hitter on the Fourth of July. And he founded a company called Sporkle because that he, he inserts himself in every answer. He didn't really found Sporkle. Found? Did you say found it? Yeah, he didn't found Sporkle. He didn't, funny. Find, he didn't find it. I found a company. I mean, I just said found. <laughs> oh, Kenny Singleton. Oh my gosh. When his job was to get on base for Eddie Murray. Yeah, he called Eddie Murray. Eddie Murray looked as happy as his face would allow. Ken Singleton. We, we need to do that. 
poster for him. <laughs> Who's that? Lloyd Mosby. He was good. Mm. Mm. Lloyd Christmas. Uh-huh. Come on, checklist. That this looks like something that was printed out of like a laser jet, Jim. or like not even a laser jet. Like this is that like man with the, is, the holes down the side. Dude, this is like my business card. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's something, dude? Sh- eggshell white. Yeah, mine. Mine looks like it got cut with a paper cutter. All right, I'm have to adjust a little bit. Do you guys want to go through this? <laughs> no. no, no. Okay. Where the red fern grows. Where the red fern grows. That's where he pitched. It's a better, uh, it's a better jersey for the twins. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Twins. It's okay. And then the other jersey. There's the other jersey. I always imagine Kirby Puckett in that jersey. I don't like this font of the twins. It's a little much. I like his number though, twenty-seven. <gasps> Weird. Rennie, Rennie. We keep getting the same, like. Like. The same players, yeah. Oh, Danny Darwin, we've got him. Yeah, we have. Oh, we got but him we before. didn't put it up. When he was on the Astros. We didn't put it up. It was our island island card pack, pack of cards. Pack of wolves. Another bags of one. sand. What Come on. Heck? Bags of sand. Oh, two in one? Mike Sosha. Fernando Valle. Fernando Mania. Steve Jagermeister. Bert Hooten. Hooten, here's a whole <laughs> Landro Land Rover. Do you think he's from uh, you know? Hey Kenny Mel no no. Lee May. Lee May was on the big red machine, I think. Yeah. I think he was uh I think he was on it. I think he was a like a heavy hitter on that team. Yeah, I thought that didn't he wasn't he supposed to get on base for Lee June? 